Hi there, welcome to the channel. My name is Maria. Today I'm going to make my meaty, cheesy lasagna. Well, yeah, everybody can make a lasagna, but my lasagna, it's Maria's specialty. What's so special about it, you ask? Well, I add a secret ingredient. You gotta come and check it out. Stay tuned, let's get in that kitchen, let's get busy. Okay, so here are the ingredients for my lasagna. It is three pounds of ground beef. That's a mix of sirloin and chuck. So we have some good amount of fat for flavoring. You'll need some onions, some carrots, garlic, the tomato paste, olive oil, some salt and pepper, oregano, onion powder, garlic powder, obviously your pasta, your uh, sheets of lasagna. And this type you don't need to pre-cook, it just, you just bake it um, from raw. We need two cans of the uh, tomatoes that we will puree. And the cheese I'll be using for the center and topping will be a mix of ma <clears throat> excuse me, mozzarella and uh, Parmesan. Now, probably wondering what my secret is. The secret to my meaty cheesy lasagna, the flavoring, is all about the Grand Marsala. And Grand Marsala is a, as far as I know, it is an Indian um, seasoning. And it's a mix of uh, different things that I would normally put into my meat. And it consists of um, uh, coriander seed, um, some cinnamon, uh, nutmeg, some fennel seeds, some cloves, uh, cumin, and uh, ginger. So all that goodness in one bag is just wonderful. It's, it's ready to go. Now, Grand Marsala, I use quite often in my dishes. You can find that just about any grocery store, even here in Madeira. I didn't have any problems finding that. So we'll need a pot and obviously our baking tray. So let's get started and I hope you guys will love it as much as I do. All right, we're gonna go ahead and turn on our oven, or sorry, our stove top. And we're gonna start browning the beef. Our three pounds of delicious, brown beef. I had that in the freezer. Uh, I always split my beef into one and a half pounds in my Ziploc bags. Grab one spoon. And start cooking that up. We don't want to get it burning right away so we want to put it on medium heat so it doesn't cook too too fast. I probably should put an apron on. Let's see if we can see there we go. So while that's getting ready to go I'm going to go ahead and chop up the onions. Now the onions just dice them up for now. I'll add the garlic at the end three small uh, carrots. We're gonna peel them and chop them. Doesn't have to be fine uh, because for our sauce, it will be uh, pureed. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I've added a tablespoon of the tomato paste. Give it a nice stir. Now I'm just going to cover it it's on simmer. We're going to let it cook on simmer for about five minutes. And then we'll get back to it and check the carrots to make sure they're soft enough. So I've got about two cups right now of the shredded mozzarella, and I've got my Parmesan on the side. Get it prepared. So now we're ready for our tomatoes. So I'm going to put two cans of, whoa, that's heavy. So I can do this again. Two cans of whole tomatoes. I'm 
So go ahead and give this a nice stir. And we're going to simmer medium low. So I've got it on medium low. It's just starting to simmer. So we've given this a nice stir. We're going to let it sit and simmer. Okay, so once it starts to simmer that way, we're going to put a cover on it and we're going to just leave it alone for about 20 minutes or so. So it's been cooking for about 10 minutes. We gave it a stir. It's looking good. Oop, there's another piece of skin. Don't worry about it so much. But if you find it, just take it out. I'm going to keep cooking it for another 10 minutes. And for the next 10 minutes, I'm going to go outside and I'm going to remove my laundry. <laughs> Such a beautiful day again today, so saving on hydro bill. Air dry is the best. I got all my laundry off the fence and I'll put it away. It's doing about 15 minutes now. Just gave my sauce another stir. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and blitz this to a puree. Hmm. Got my handy blitzer and just gently, you want to do it on low so it doesn't splash. Just puree your Onions, carrots, tomatoes, seasoning in there. All right, so it's all pureed. We got our sauce. We got it on simmer. We're gonna leave it on simmer for another, I'm gonna say half an hour. It will reduce just a little bit. I'm gonna add another teaspoon of salt. We're just gonna to continue to cook the sauce. another like I said half an hour test the um, sauce for salt that's better and I'm gonna add a little bit of cracked pepper just a little probably a teaspoon Give it a stir. Wobbly there. Okay, once again, let's test it. Taste test for salt and pepper. Hmm. The carrots and the onions sweeten up the, um, the sauce. So you can adjust your uh, salt. I'm going to leave that for now because um, it will reduce just a little bit in the next half hour. Um, I think at this point I'll just leave it alone. It's tasting delicioso. I'm just going to cover it, not completely. And in the meanwhile, I'm going to grab my four cloves of garlic. Grab my meat sauce. And we're going to press the four cloves of garlic right into the meat. We're not going to uh, cook it or anything like that because the last cooking is done in the oven 
with the sauce and the cheese and the pasta. As I said in my other videos, whenever I'm using garlic, I love putting the garlic at the end because if you put garlic in the beginning of your cooking period, it loses, in, in my opinion, this is my opinion, it loses its flavor. So that's just how I do it. Everybody's different. I'm a garlic lover. Both Alan and I are, we have garlic in almost everything we eat. Maybe not ice cream, <laughs> but I wouldn't doubt there would be some type of ice cream with garlic in it. Who knows? I'll have to look that one up. All right, so I just went ahead and took, there was two little cloves left, and I just used that. I'm going to give that a stir. Sorry about that. Give that a stir. So the fresh garlic is all nicely blended with that ground beef. It's hard to believe that's three pounds of beef in there, but that's what it looks like. We're just going to cover our meat, set it aside. Now keep cooking the sauce. So the sauce is pretty much ready. We're going to take, we're going to turn that off. We're going to take half of the sauce and we're going to place it into our meat. So only half of that sauce goes into the meat. It's in the half. Swirl. <clears throat> Alrighty. Now, I'm going to turn on the flame for this meat, and we're just going to cook it for about well, once it starts to simmer, bubble, I'm gonna let it bubble for about five minutes on medium, low. We got everything ready to here. We've got our pasta and our cheese. I got my pan ready to go. So in about five minutes. Okay, so it's started already. About five minutes, then we'll be ready to go ahead and layer our lasagna in our baking tray. All right, we're ready to go ahead and start doing our layering. We're gonna start off with um, one scoop of sauce. Actually, two scoops, let's see, two scoops. All right. Now with that, I'd like to add a little bit of, I'm gonna say two tablespoons of olive oil. One, two. And then I'm going to just mix that around with the sauce. Okay. <clears throat> now, if you get uh, any broken pieces like that, what I do is I usually go through the box first, get all the broken pieces and start the bottom layer with that. It's just easier keep the nice whole ones for the top. It's a good size tray. That's the first layer. We're going to add some meat. Spread our meat. bit of Parmesan, not too much, a little bit of uh, mozzarella. I will have more mozzarella for the uh, topping, but for this middle, I like to have about two cups. Okay, so we're going to continue. Second layer. Again, two scoops of meat. A 
wasn't too much on that scoop. So we're gonna continue. Parmesan. Dab of mozzarella. I say mozzarella because that's the way it's written. Some people will say mozzarella. So, you know it's mozzarella. Next layer. I'm going to continue doing that. Okay, so here we are. Beautiful lasagna, nice big tray, ready for the oven. All I've got to do here now is just cover it with tin foil. I'm going to place it in the 350 degree Fahrenheit oven. You don't need to preheat it. And we're going to bake it for about 40 to 50 minutes covered. We're going to test to make sure the lasagna sheets are completely cooked. And the way you do that is just insert uh, a sharp knife that goes in and out easily, then you know it's ready. We're going to take about a cup of shredded mozzarella and place it on top and then put that back in the oven and let the cheese brown and bubble and turn off your oven, remove, let it sit for about 10 minutes and then cut into it and serve. Well, what can I say? It was a big hit. Our guests absolutely loved the lasagna. I do apologize, I didn't have the final video footage of the uh, fully cooked lasagna, but here's a picture of it, um, well, one of the last pieces anyway. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you will try out this lasagna. It's, uh, it's always a big hit with the family and friends. For those of you who have subscribed, thank you so much for being here, and for those of you have not subscribed, we would love for you to hit that subscribe button and we look forward to the next video. Thanks for watching.